Q Season 2, Episode 20. I think the match is beginning with Alba Josai, which is insane. Why does this feel like the final? Even though it's only the semi-finals. Yeah, they do seem different, don't they? What is it, Kagama? Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Their interaction is so interesting and funny. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was going to say, it's it's super childish, which is interesting and revealing, I think, because Oikawa is so cool. Like, he's just such a cool dude. There's such a clear path for him to just be above it, show his confidence, but he just can't help himself but get dragged into, like, this pettiness, which reveals an immaturity and also a deep level of fear for Kageyama, which comes from respect. Like, it's such an easy path in hand for him to have such a cool moment being just so far above Kageyama, right? But he can't help himself. It's kind of like by engaging with anyone at all on that kind of emotional level, you make the mistake of making them peers just through some weird transitive property by by arguing with someone you just become at their level i mean the good news is he's also getting to oikawa i guess that could be his undoing you know this child childishness childishness this immaturity <laughs> that was me that was me when you got introduced wow a second girl unbelievable it's a scarce resource around here in this show oh hello why does he look like an Attack on Titan character? Smooth. Damn. Go take a seat. What was your plan? <laughs> what the hell? They're all over the place. This mad dog? Mad dog's got some kind of look in his eye. Some kind of mad look. What is with all these glamour shots? <laughs> Yeah, he's sort of the wild card, like, who knows? He was introduced, but unclear how his his presence will affect the game. You know, like, it was so easy before, their match with Elba Josai. Now I've got this new player in. But, like, I mean, it's not necessarily positive. Like, I imagine they're going to introduce him as a threat and probably going to be great and a new thing to contend with. At the same time, sports are so subtle. The introduction of a, a player, even if it's a really good player, might affect the whole in ways that are overall negative. That makes sense. We'll see. Elba Josai has been proven to be such a good team and such a great match for Karasuno. So adaptive, so poised. They're honestly terrifying going into this match. The only things that I can think of that give me hope are one, obviously Karasuno's development. They're not the same team. Not at all the same team. They're so radically transformed. Oikawa's cracks, you know, his immaturity. He's not immune to emotional outbursts, especially with Kagayama. Like, he's just so sensitive. And then the introduction of Mad Dog, which could be a threat initially, but might prove to be a weakness. Captain. Episode 20, sweep clear. And that is a huge relief. Also, Karsuna's riding on a high. That's rude. That's super rude. <laughs> Daichi's feeling his age at 18. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, after the win with in Daichi's absence, I feel like even just that game was such a huge boost. Such a good learning experience. You know, if we can win without Daichi, imagine what we can do with him back. Damn right. Singular focus. Singular vision. Don't let stupid sexy Oikawa get in your heads. <laughs> Not this time. She does? Nationals, here we come. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's that other team. Yeah, that's actually speaking directly to one of the things I, I think what could go wrong for Alba Josai. That's what rattled them too. Yeah, but they're not, they're not stupid, they know. And Oikawa is very analytical. Oh, this imagery. He's so good at speeches, every time. Oh, no, buzzkill, buzzkill alert. There we go. I feel like Ukai plays less and less of a role as the series goes on, because the players are just you know, doing their own coaching, doing their own work, rallying themselves. And we got Teach over here, pumping everyone up. 
Makao is once again my enemy. I feel hot. Yeah, it's 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 a tough way to start. Prepare yourself for epic serves. Whoa. Oh, no one's doing it. Oh, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. Serves out of the way. Oh, from the back row. Damn, what a moment on the first point. And it was a fake to Hinata. Holy crap. Holy, cr I cannot, that was peak Karasuno. Oh <laughs> yeah, even they can't believe it. <laughs> Who's making a statement again? Which team is coming out making a statement? Remind me, I forgot. You shut up. <laughs> I think that was my favorite point of the whole, whole series so far. And you have the only one with killer serves too. Five. It's out. It's all right. Shake it off. Don't mind. Yeah, I don't know if they have any glaring weaknesses. I don't think that's how you beat them. You beat them by playing well. Nice. They're they're rising. They're rising like just a little bit beyond their normal place. They're pushing it. <laughs> yeah, he'll get a chance, for sure. Yeah, three points in. It's already amazing. Tsuki! Has he had his moment yet? Is he feeling it? This season was done so well, so that nothing feels wasted. Everything that we've seen, all the growth we've seen, has been set up, and it feels great. Like, I don't know, it's a simple thing, so we keep blocking the ball, but it means a lot in the context of what we've seen, you know? Yeah, we haven't even utilized Hinata yet, and he's very aware of it. Right, right. He's got something to prove. I keep coming back to the, the last episode of season one, their rage in the gym. Yeah. Oh, damn, the sliding save from Suki. Getting all the way down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's so clear. Like, he's just way too eager. And reading into it a little bit, part of that is fear. His defeat in the final point was so painful, he hasn't been able to shake it. And he's very intelligently used that as energy towards his training and towards his game. But the hint of that pain remains, and on some level, even if it's subconscious, you know, it's only going to get more painful if it happens again. So there's like a temptation to rush it, to blast through the thing that you're afraid of, to force it so that it's it's a binary thing where you either get immediate victory and gratification and, and relief that you've been so waiting for, or just crushing defeat. But at least you're not living in that weird hellish purgatory of self-doubt and not knowing. He just wants it too bad. <laughs> Literally kicking his ass. Time out. Time out maybe after this after this point. <laughs> this is a montage. I feel like he's not gonna get it. Oh, I was wrong. Kage, I'm just trusting in him. Damn, I'm sorry, Hinata. I severely underestimated you. Well, there it is. There's that relief. I didn't think it was going to go that way at all. I was way off on that, but seeing it happen that way, it's touching. Kagama put so much faith in him there. <laughs> oh yeah, he did give him advice about this. But at heart, Okawa's a sportsman. He wants them to be good too. He wants them to be good and then beat them. Love you, Daichi. Daisuke. Well, they didn't even try? Oh, they were underestimating him. Big mistake. Yeah, yes, me too. There we go, there we go, there we go. Some human errors. And some some great playing as well. No mad dog yet. What's with this suspenseful music? <laughs> Speaking of AOT, Attack on Titan, we're getting some A AOT soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, adjustment is their thing, right? Carson got to go deep. Into the arsenal. But focus on Hinata could be an advantage for Karsuno. We have tools for that. Damn, it's getting close to the end of the first game. It's two points. Two points, that's a whole game. Stupid, sexy Oikawa. Don't like where this is going. 
<laughs> Damn, that animation though. Is it out? It was out. It was out. Still terrifying though. One point. Point game. I mean, he made a statement though. Yeah, exactly. Put some fear in their hearts. And he's doing this without the the O chant. Maybe he's playing mind games for the next next match. Point game. Exactly. Set point. Oh, but this, I don't know, this is such a hard moment for me in games. Because you know it's so close. I can get to you. Choking is real. Very mature. Oh no, everyone's speaking too soon. It's not over by any any stretch. They're still pretty close. Oh, I knew it. One point away from Deuce. Sometimes the last point is the hardest. Especially if the other team is just like nipping at your heels. Yes, I was saying. <laughs> oh, Mad Dog's coming in for the last point. Interesting. Very interested to see what, what role he's going to play. What's his deal? Mad Dog. You just push him over? I don't call him Mad Dog for nothing. Speaking of strong serves. <laughs> I was looking pretty smug about that. Oh, and now we're tied up. A 24 piece. That's rough, buddy. Oof, that was so well done. I, I love the pure focus in the game. This episode carries with it all of the, the past, and there's so much, so much richness to what's going on. You know, you have each individual character on, on Karasuno and their journey. You got Oikawa being a great character, great threat, great an antagonist, I guess, and the team that has the like the most significant emotional impact on Karasuno and their history. So this episode is, is mostly just like pure volleyball, right? Or pure playing, but man, it's so exciting. Hard for me to think of a, a game in terms of like the playing that I've enjoyed more than this game up to this point. The first point was like, I don't know, that was something magical about that. To see all of their, their growth and also will summed up on that opening point was really phenomenal. I love how they saved Nishinoya's back serve, back row serve for that specific moment. But yeah, we knew this was going to be an epic clash. We knew it was going to be difficult. I wouldn't have it any other way, but I do want a victory. But I, you know, there's an opportunity for, for really cool growth here with Mad Dog entering because the thing that I would say defeated them most in the first tournament was Alba Josai's adaptability and versatility, able to read their weapons, not be intimidated by them, keep their cool, which is advice that Ukai was giving to the team at the start of this episode, and work around it. And so this is Karasuno's opportunity to show their growth by doing doing exactly that. Mad Dog is kind of a terrifying new addition, as you know you expected him to be, but I don't think Karasuno is the type to choke about this. You know, they'll reel for a point or two, then they'll figure it out. They got the leadership, they got the talent, they got the will, definitely have the spite. I feel like this is probably going to be a three game match, three match game, and it's just going to be a back and forth of transitioning, adapting, figuring each other out until the superior team wins, which will be Karasuno.